Hello and welcome to this little Dashboard 2.0 report session or even better, how to create Dashboard 2.0 with the UCOD Dashboard Builder. My name is Chris Wolpert. I'm a HGM consultant at iProcon and I will guide you through this webcast. So let me tell you first where you find Dashboard 2.0. I'm logged in in our test instance and I'm logged in as an admin. And you can find Dashboard 2.0 under Analytics here. Clicking here, you have different options, normal dashboards, like we call them standard dashboards, analytics, reporting, and so on. So if you click here on dashboard 2.0, you get several dashboards 2.0. Um, you already got uh, for the module you subscribe to. And um, in our case, it's pretty everything. And you also can create new dashboards um, in dashboards, there can be everything in, de depends what you want to show or visualize. And in this case, that's like goal status. So I will show you in this little webcast how to create dashboards, and I will try to keep it as simple and as short as possible for you. So how to create dashboards? Dashboards 2.0 are just based on ad hoc reports. So for that reason, I just jump here, reporting a bold and easy ad hoc report um, for the domain recruiting. I name it UCLC example, and what I want to show is just candidate ID, first name, last name, gender, and if the candidate is internal or not. No filters. Um, preview would look like this. If the report loads fast enough, you see, just keep it yeah, in mind, we see it later again. So that is actually the UCOD dashboard builder. I don't want to explain all the fields because I think most of the people won't see it, but I just want to give you a feeling how it looks like and how you build something like that. I prepare something already. So for example, I import that ad hoc report I just showed you a minute ago, and you will see all the stuff you just saw at the ad hoc report. I create two pivots and some filters and um, the table which should shown um, in the report and also two charts um, which says if the candidates are internal or not and um, which gender there are. So that's pretty it for now. Again, I don't want to tell you all about the UCAL dashboard builder because there is a jam group for it. There are a lot of tutorials out there, and I will tell you later more about the UCAL dashboard builder. One first, I would just want to explain. You just see here data. You don't see the visualization. Um, for that, you just click the preview button, and uh, you get a preview here. That's not actually what is in the instance. That's kind of offline the data you work with from the ad hoc report. So. It will slightly look different in the instance later. So I just want to show you now that is like the table I want to show under the charts. If someone clicks in and want to see or drill down for the employees if they're internal or not. So you see here, it's a little pop up. Here you see the two charts I configured in UCalc. And again, what I said, you don't see them here, but they're in because you see there are two um, visualizations here. And you have here, you see here, like mostly data and tables who are um, dragged in. And here you have some more tools to visualize things. So again, just showed how it looks in the preview and how to get this in your instance. So in the admin tools reporting, there is an option to manage um, dashboards and UCALC files. And again, what I told you at the beginning is that you already have some dashboards in. Depends if they're tile builder, like this little tiles you have on the welcome page or home page, or you have the custom dashboard which showed in the dashboard 2.0 overview I showed you at the right the beginning. So normally you just upload them, give it a name, upload, and that's it. And after you just have to make sure you just give the or like you give the user group who 
who should see the dashboard 2.0, the rights to see it in role-based permissions under reporting. Yeah, so after you did that, you will see your UCOP dashboard builder. And as I prepared already for you, I upload the little example. And if you see here, you can see the numbers, how many in the pie chart here, for example, and the percentage in general. And if you click it here, you will get a drill down table down here. You also can configure that it's shown all over the screen. But for here, I just showed it quite simple and normal. And if you click yes, you will get all of this um, talk reports filtered by yeah, what do you need. So let me tell you something in general again. So you called Builder is a standalone software and it's just available for partners. So customers can't build their own dashboards, but there is an option um, here in the admin tools where you can build tiles at your own. That is one option you can do for like as a customers. And uh, you called dashboard Builder get also updates like as you know, in success factors for every release, that's it. I hope that's enough. I wrote some articles about reporting on our website. I will write a link in the video description. And I wrote about like standard and ad hoc reporting dashboards 2.0 BERT, and there's more to come. And I hope you find this video valuable for you. And see you again. Bye-bye.